By the end of today, more than one and a half million people in Virginia and the Carolinas will be under evacuation orders. Now, this affects a huge area along the coast. Mandatory evacuation orders took effect in North Carolina at 7 a.m., covering more than 100 miles of shoreline in the path of the storm. Mark Strassman is right there on the coast in Kitty Hawk. Mark, good morning. Good morning. This area knows hurricanes. For instance, take the Kitty Hawk Pier behind me. It's about half the size it was in 2003 when Hurricane Isabel knocked the rest of it into the Atlantic. Now, late last night, President Trump issued a federal disaster declaration. That's to make sure resources will be ready when the storm makes landfall here as early as Friday morning. An estimated 50,000 residents and visitors have been evacuated from Cape Hatteras, about 40 miles south of here. As we headed here last night, there was a steady flow of cars heading north, people leaving the area. Heavy equipment was also out building massive sand dunes as a wall of defense against the storm surge that's expected up and down the coast. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper called the surge, along with the um, uh, winds and the island flooding, the three critical threats this state faces from Hurricane Florence. Officials with the National Hurricane Centers warn Florence is expected to linger over the Carolinas once it makes landfall. That increases the threat of major flooding for miles inland, along with a possibility of widespread power outages. We are now officially under a hurricane watch here as of a couple of hours ago. Emergency officials said they started evacuating, uh, asking people to leave, and then ordering people to leave over the last couple of days. That's because they say if they waited until the last minute, until the declaration was in place, they would not have enough time to get everyone out. John? All right, Mark, thank you.